Daniel and I hopped over to Scotland just to taste the amazing things they have going on. And before <laughs> this trip, we recorded an episode exploring the bottom, bottom, bottom shelf stuff. And basically the reason why we think a lot of people think they don't like whiskey, they believe they don't like whiskey. So this is a palate cleanser, but here's the episode. So we're in the scotch section right now. The cheapest that we're seeing, $11. You see anything cheaper than $11? Oh wait, nine dot, oh my God. That's not whiskey though. That's pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> so in the States, yeah. Most of the cheap whiskeys are probably going to be American whiskeys. By the time you get things shipped and taxed from other countries, it's bumping that cost up. And Seven dollars. T.W. Samuels. Every drop contains Kentucky whiskey, so it's been blended with Kentucky. Six. Six. Six forty-nine. Oh God, are you kidding me? As cheap as this is, can you see the dust? <laughs> it hasn't been touched for ages. <laughs> Good lord. All right, first ugly whiskey. Oh, no! <laughs> the goal was just straight up the cheapest whiskeys. We're not gonna get too clever about it. So you just walked around specs yeah, yeah, yeah. and was like, what's the cheapest shit you have? Yeah, yes. just the, what did, what did you think the most bottom shelf entry level price point? I'll bet you could get a full liter for eight bucks. Yeah, it was pretty damn close. Pretty close. Seven. Seven dollars and 37 cents. Close to eight bucks. Okay, so let's just blast through this really quick because okay. I don't remember this being amazing with natural flavors. And if this is an actual. <laughs> oh, right. ow! See, it burns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I did get two nuts though. I oh. got like a peanutty Burn. chocolate. What? Whoa, yes. Wow. wow. Okay. And um, pennies. <laughs> yeah, I could see the pennies. Wow, we're we're mostly pennies. We're going, we're going it. Tastes like pennies. Very thin. It dies on them. It's very taste. thin. A metallic. Little, a little vanilla, very metallic finish. Yeah. So, uh, why was. It's a no on that. What was the thinking behind. Here's the thinking, here's the thought process. We so often get into whiskeys that we know are gonna be good. Our low price point is kind of like. 30s. $30, mm -hmm. right? $30 for some people, that's not a low price point. All right. And I, you know, people say, well, you know, you never get into the bottom shelves. You never get into like the really, really affordable, cheap whiskeys. Let's not kind of. Tickle the bottom shelf. We're going all in on the bottom shelf. Mm. Once and for all, once yeah. and for all. Is there anything living down there that we should have been aware of this mm. whole time? And then also, whatever experience we have in Scotland after this That'd will be, so be amazing. Better. Wow. Yeah. Except you, mm. you're not going to be there. Yeah. Okay, next one Cade Creek Spirits in uh, Louisville. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. Louisville, Texas? It's There's a said. Louisville, Texas? That's what I said, yeah. Oh, Louisville. It's Louisville. This one. <laughs> Okay, age three years, and then what's the next line? 80% grain neutral spirit. Yeah, 80% vodka, which I'm betting is not from Texas. You don't know. $10.52. This was uh, premium. This, yeah, this is one of our more expensive. Now, hold on. It smells kind of nice. It's like a little bit of melted ice cream. Yeah. With the metallic finish there on the. Yeah, yeah very rubbery. Very mm. uh, rubber toy. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you get. um. Ice cream in an aluminum can instead of a cone. <laughs> yeah, because that's the best ice cream comes yeah. in yeah. aluminum cans. Yeah. We have to practice our UK <laughs> version. Aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium cans. Aluminium cans. All right, uh, it's I'll just a there. very vanilla forward, very ethanol dingy kind of metallic, yeah. Oh, that was not as good as the last one. I actually liked the last one better. Really? Yeah. I like this one better because it goes away quickly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Next. Canadian We're LTD. LTD. I do not remember the LTD. Yeah. We've done all of these. Okay, what? You um, know the great thing about this? Hmm. It's limited. Do you know what else this is good for? Hmm. Oh yeah, it didn't break. Nice. So when you're just faced and stumbling around and you drop it, yes. you just pick it back up again. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the LTD. This is $6.83. Mm. Oh, this yes. has got all of the ethanol punch but some coconut. I get uh, and, bologna uh, packaging. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of plasticky and weirdly savory and not a lot of sweetness. Oh! Bologna, baby. Oh, that is worst so far by a long shot. What is that almost sour note in there? Oh, hold on. Um, like something's gone wrong. I think they 
probably put so little whiskey into the vodka that it's just kind of a cheap vodka everything. These are all pseudo whiskeys. Well, but they're sort of the, legally whiskeys. The point, yes. Like legally bourbon. Yes, but the point is, yeah. is there anything living on there that is somewhat respectable? I was gonna say the first couple, first few, Horrible. And mm. then that, the LTD, what was that? It was the LTD, I just yeeted mm -hmm. that yeah. across the room. Yeah. That deserves to be yeeted across. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's keep in mind a favorite. Okay. Well, the least, I, the but least bad. The yeah, least yeah, bad. Least bad. Least bad. The next one. <laughs> oh yeah. Royal Club. We've done Royal Club. All right, Royal Club. This is a California company between Bardstown, Kentucky and Los Angeles, California. So Royal Club, $7.25. Oh, that one see, smells worse than the, yeah, LTD. the LTD smelled. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This is so vodka-y mm -hmm. and just empty. I'm looking for any kind of flavor that would that would lead me to believe that color came from somewhere real. Oh, it is metallic. There's your copper penny. It tastes oh. like car exhaust. We can only go up from here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Yep. Yeah. Windsor. Oh, Windsor. There's Windsor, your budget Canadian. Canadian. And it's in a black bottle, that's even better. Yeah. $7. $9.88. $9.88. Nice. Almost $10. You know, you know, this one's good. Blended and distilled under the strict supervision of the Canadian government. Smells like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All my notes in my nose are just awash in the same shit. Yeah. Just the same mm. vodka, ethanol, punchy. Did we miss the bottom shelf and go to the basement? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think people are talking about, man, like the, the cheap whiskeys, the affordable whiskeys, the bottom shelf whiskeys, they never get any love. It's like, yeah. okay, literally, the cheapest we can find. Yeah, I think those are the people who are talking about like Mellicorn or Jim Beam White Label. Or, Mellicorn is, And these are all actually good whiskeys. That's like $20. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I think that's what they're referring to. Okay. Uh, it's that's, more caramel than vanilla. You ever had bad well water? Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's like you put a really super watered down Vanilla icing and bad well water. Mm -hmm. I don't even get any sweetness. I just, it tastes like a sidewalk. Yep, yep, I can confirm. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Verglotti. We're on our way to Isla right now, and uh, we're very excited. Uh, Verglotti has been in the top five, they're two of my top whiskeys, not just scotches, all of whiskeys for a very long time. And uh, they called us up after we made all of these plans to come visit Isla and a bunch of distilleries, uh, asking if they could, you know, sponsor an episode. And we said, sure, yeah. All kidding aside, thank you to Berkeley for sponsoring the episode. A couple of quick tips though, if you or somebody that you know thinks they don't like whiskey, if your experience has been kind of at this level of this episode, that makes sense. I wouldn't like whiskey either if that's what I thought whiskey was. But keep in mind, these are the kinds of whiskeys that are meant to be hidden, buried under like ice and cocktails yeah. and soda. Secondly, if you really want to get into whiskey, some of the good stuff, yeah. you can also start with a cocktail, but do it with like a spirit forward cocktail. Starting with something like the highball with a classic laddie in it. Anybody that says they do not like whiskey, I think they probably haven't had the right whiskey yet. For countless whiskey lovers, whiskey enthusiasts around the world, a Brook Lottie is the right whiskey. <sighs> <clears throat> okay. I'm quickly losing the will to live. <laughs> Kentucky Deluxe is gonna take us through the next part of our bottom shelf gauntlet. Notice that every Bart. one of these bottom shelf ones really, really embrace the rare, exclusive, rich, fancy, deluxe, yeah. high end. Uh, there's, a, there's a few keywords that really lead you to believe that it's not what it, it's saying. Words like deluxe. Also premium. 36 months, so three years old. My mm. theory is you look at these and you're like, oh wow, three years old. Yeah. And then you look closer and it's going to be blended with a neutral spirit. It's going to be blended with vodka. And the whiskey that goes in there is probably the stuff that even if it came from a reputable big distillery that does beautiful things, it's probably the stuff that didn't make the cut for the good releases. Hey, buckle up. Six dollars and forty-nine cents. What? Six. No! That's so Six forty-nine. Okay, this is not, strangely, the ethanol is not really jumping out. I mean, it's thin. Okay. It's metallic. But it's not punchy yeah. and, and burny. There's recognizable oak. Can't believe I'm saying I like this. Well, it's not in the normal world, it's comparatively. Yeah. Wait, wait, god damn it. Yeah, spit it back out, spit it out. Oh. Uh, and are we drinking? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's got yeah. uh, I'm gonna say. I got spinach, a canned spinach. Yeah, no, no. It's got like a musty oak. You know what it is? Yeah, musty oak and vanilla. You ever smell a super, super old fence? Like the wood fence? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's like old, old fence wood. From what we've had, I still put that one at the head of the pack. It's the most complex. It's the least, it is the most complex. Least yeah. offensive. It's the least yeah. bad. It had recognizable whiskey flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not 
great. But <laughs> yeah, that one. But was they're close. there. Yeah, it, it's not like you put some weird twinge of sweetness in my vodka. Yeah, like, no, it's yeah. whiskey flavor. Black velvet. That uh, sounds familiar. Black velvet. What's the please? Was this one of like the most popular brands according to sales? Or was yeah, it was it was really high yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Good. Keep going. Wow. Keep going. You're okay. welcome. Nine dollars and eighty-seven cents. Mm. It is so ethanol forward, almost nail polish. Blended at birth is what it says on this bottle. I think they're mixing vodka with a non-vodka thing. Putting it in a barrel. Putting it in a barrel and then aging it. But it doesn't smell like anything. Are you having a hard time smelling I things? I smell this one a little bit. It it's, smells it's like burnt polishy. fudge. What? No. Burnt? Burnt yeah. fudge? No, fudge is just, too dense. No, there was a Lies. hallmark that I used to go to back in the day that they oh. burned fudge and it just ruined the smell of that whole place for eternity. <laughs> wow. Hey. Oh, yeah. it's taste, vanilla cream the and taste ethanol. Isn't as bad. Don't get me wrong. It's really watery, mm. but there's a vanilla. T W uh, Samuels, Kentucky Wendy Samuels. Samuels. This is seven dollars and thirty six cents. Uh, let's see. Again, um, recognizable whiskiness. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to I'm saying I the Kentucky know. Deluxe. A really metallic brown sugar direction on this one instead yeah. of, instead of old fence. Wood. Yeah, you gotta dig in deep there to find that, I mean, but I see it. You've probably never experienced Jury. truly cheap whiskey. No. It's, it's basically stuff that we've like, got. Yeah. All we've yeah. ever poured you is a reasonably nice whiskey. I've been living luxuriously. <laughs> you had no idea. This whole time she thought she liked whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <This is> terrible. <laughs> yeah. Are you missing the white claw right about now? Uh, I mean, it depends on the flavor. Yes. <laughs> worst white claw versus the worst whiskey we've had. Oh. oh. No, I'll take the worst White Claw for sure. These suck. I can down an entire White Claw no yes, matter we all the know. flavor, but this stuff, that's, when I'll we were cry. There. Let's uh, get it over with. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that is bad. No. It's not as offensive as I thought it was gonna be. It's offensive. Uh, oh, wait, there's the aftertaste. If this was the extent of my whiskey experience. Oh, you would think you hated whiskey. Yeah, no, yeah. if I went to a bar and yeah. like with my friends and you know, they, I'm assuming they know what they're doing and they ask for like a shot of whiskey and they're pouring something like this, I'm like, whiskey sucks. I think it's kind of like it's, little, it's middle of the pack. It's me. less than Kentucky Deluxe, but oh, it's not as bad as Canadian LTD. So you're putting it over there? Yeah. Rich and rare. Uh, yes, that's very rare. You know what wow. this is made so, from rich people? Luxury. Anytime somebody says, why don't you guys do a bottom shelf, like entry level? Oh, we never have to do it again. We never have to do it again. Nice. The point to this episode is that guys, we went to the we most took our medicine. bottom of all the shelves. Yeah. Canadian whiskey, once again, <laughs> with natural flavors. It smells like crying. <laughs> Oh, this one's worse. <laughs> Cry? What does crying smell like? Smell it. Yeah. I am, but I don't understand that crying has a smell. Rich and rare, it's the tears of peasants that they bottled. Oh, the oh that's right, they're rich people, they only drink Obviously, tears of peasants. Obviously, yeah. yes. Uh, okay, we're drinking it? Are we I drinking guess, it? I don't even yeah. know what this is. What? Mm. Oh Glue. god, that's, a, that's up there. Glue. That's up there with the bad one. Damn it. Oh, I guess that's. Yeah. Cool. I was hoping it was. Are you not trying it? I am totally yeah. trying every single one. Yeah, just get in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Inverhouse. Oh, look at Scotch. Green plaid. <laughs> and it mostly came down to. <laughs> it's got a finger grip. <laughs> yeah. Blended Scotch, yeah. so. Age three years. Again, three years is a magic number. I mean, it's scotch. So. Yeah, so but they don't, American whiskey. They don't blend it with vodka. So the good news is, if it's blended scotch, the highest distillation proof of the spirit mm -hmm. is what we would call light whiskey. Yeah. We're not dealing with vodka right, right. and whiskey. We're dealing with grain spirit, like what we call light whiskey and malt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's going to be good. It just means at least it's not vodka. Oh, that looks like... Wow, it's like so, almost clear. So light. <laughs> yeah. It is a product of Scotland, so that's a plus. Ready? Wow, what a smell. Oh, wow. yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a, um, it's a vegetal. Mm. Baby sick. Well, why, uh, why did you do that? You're ruining it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. So the price per ounce. It was 15 something. Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's, one, it's almost two. It's two, more than two. So that's so what my seven bucks each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Less than seven. That bucks. was my argument. You should feel bad for what you did. I well, you haven't tasted it yet. Did you just taste it? It just tastes like water. It doesn't wait. And caramel. We established a protocol. Now no, you don't no. wait. And now there's no reason for me to even drink it. No. I'm so <laughs> far behind. Drink I'm it right so now. Far behind. Out. Listen, put it in your mouth. <laughs> Do it. Oh, yeah. Go. Come on. Oh, yes. 
Maybe if you make a paper, uh, an airplane noise. Down, down. Do it. <laughs> hey, if you spill it, we're just gonna refill it. It tastes like flannels. <laughs> so it tastes like 90s grunge. I think you're being influenced by green plaid. Maybe, yeah. but you're like, you're, taste it. Tell me you don't taste this it. This tastes as far superior to anything that we've tried to date. Yeah, this is... It's closer to actual whiskey than anything we've had so far. It's not really fruity. It's not really sweet and desserty. No. It's got this kind of weird earthy quality to it, but when the bar's this low. Mm-hmm. You take what you can get. Okay, so the two best, mm -hmm. I think the green plaid thing. And the Kentucky Deluxe. Yes, yes. The cheap scotch beats the cheap vodka bourbon. Okay, I agree, but I think even if you liked American whiskeys more than scotch, you would still prefer this to that. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question. Actually, okay. I don't know. Are you, because well, the smell on this out. was so vomity, uh. and the smell on that was so, it was kind of nice. All right, I stand by what I said because just smell them. Just no. smell them. Put them in your nose. No, in your nose. No, God, don't do it. Yes. No, it's it, going back. It's worse. The scotch saves things. Nice. Your it turn. Is, it is. Disgusting. Give, them, give them a try. Mm. I actually don't mind the smell because I've been drinking budget scotch a lot at mm. the when we tried random things since yeah. I got used to that. It's so hot. I didn't even have to drink it. What? What? Oh. <laughs> That's a clear, yeah. clear winner. Which you know what I think we should do? We should go to Scotland. Done. I think if this is their entry level swill, a trip in Scotland is just gonna be magical. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. No, not, not you. you. <laughs> <laughs>